So this is Steve and then we're gonna do a manual exchange together. So first thing I do is I wash my hands for 20 seconds, just saying happy birthday to myself and then dry my hands, put on some gloves and I'm gonna clean off my workstation. You can just use a bleach wipe, but we nurses mix our own bleach because we're cool like that. Caitlin Clark. All right, now I have my supplies ready. I have my gauze, my alchemist, my clamps, my mini caps, my blue pads, and my dialysate. Steve here is gonna get a blue pad for himself, even though he doesn't have any legs. And now I'm gonna open my dialysate bag. Slip. So remember, peel off that drain bag. It's hard plastic, so just pull it apart, pull it apart. Put that drain bag down, shiny side first. And then we're gonna look at scale, look at the solution strength. Three places, that's 1.5. And it's yellow, 1.5. Make sure it's clear, nothing floating inside. Make sure it's the right amount, 2.5 liters. Squeeze it to make sure there's no leaks and that, check that expiration date. Scaled. All right, I'm gonna take my red clamp. I'm gonna put it on the fill line. That's called the fill line because that bag fills inside of you. Blue clamp on the drain line. That's the drain line because it goes to the drain bag. Drain bag shiny side up and I'm finished with that. Now I just have to clean Steve's transfer set. So let's get to it. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open my four x four. I'm gonna put a good amount of Alkavis disinfectant onto that gauze there. No specific amount, just get it pretty saturated with gauze. This is one way to do it. You could also just open it up and pour it on the gauze. I'm squeezing, squeezing, make sure it gets fully soaked. And open it up, separate it. Remember it's two pieces of gauze in there and bam, done. Take that first piece. I'm gonna scrub, scrub, scrub for one minute. That is a dirty transfer set, Steve. You really need to clean your transfer set more. All right, scrub, scrub, scrub for one minute. After I, and his shorts are dirty. After I scrub for one minute, I'm gonna take my second piece of gauze and I'm gonna wrap it around his transfer set for one minute. So there you go. Wrap, wrap, wrap. Now normally Steve has legs or some kind of workstation he could put his transfer set on and he can grab his connector in right there. So after that one minute's done, one hand grab your transfer set, the other hand grab your connector, pull off that piece of gauze, loosen that transfer cap, that mini cap, um, put that pull ring on the finger and pull. That mini cap's already loosened, so just let it fall down and twist, 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 bam, connect it. Now take that gauze and wipe off the iodine because that's how Steve's pants got dirty. He didn't wipe off the iodine. All right, now Steve's connected. First thing we always do is drain. So let's take off that blue clamp that leads to the drain bag. Let's break that frangible, that thick metal, I'm sorry, plastic piece right there, back forth around the world. And then finally, let's open that transfer set to drain Steve. So Steve is empty, he's got nothing inside of him. So we don't expect anything in that drain bag. And there's a whole lot of nothing in that drain bag. All right, now that we're done draining, let's close that transfer set. Twist, 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 snap. All right, now we're gonna flush the line. So that fill line right there is filled with air. We don't want the air to go inside of you because Steve will have a lot of shoulder pain for like five days. So we're gonna push that fluid out and it's gonna bypass this closed transfer set and go into that drain line. So I'm gonna break the frangible back forth around the world. And when I take that clamp off, the fluid is gonna rush out, pushing that air into the drain bag. We're gonna get up a count to three. One, Two, three, clamp, clamp, clamp. There you go. All right. So that drain, that fill line is now filled with fluid, no air, and we can just open up that transfer set so Steve can get his prescription, his dialysate fluid. Twist open and ooh, sorry for go in. That brown stuff was iodine. All right. There's Steve's belly, getting filled, getting filled, getting filled. So yes, this is working, yay. All right, that bag is empty. 
Now that fill line will never be empty. There will always be a little bit of fluid in there. So make sure you clamp that line. So when you disconnect, it doesn't go squirting out everywhere. Bam, just like that. Now I'm gonna close my transfer set because there's no reason it should be open. I'm done. So now we're gonna clean Steve's transfer set. Grab my Elkavis, grab my four by four gauze, soak it up, open my mini cap, make sure it's not expired, make sure there's iodine in there and there's iodine, so good to go. So I have all my supplies. I'm gonna scrub, scrub, scrub that dark blue area for one minute, making sure I don't unscrew it while I'm scrubbing. Then I'm gonna take my second piece of gauze and I'm gonna wrap it around there for one minute. Normally this could just sit on Steve's legs on a blue pad, but Steve don't have legs, so. All right, a minute's pass. I'm grabbing my mini cap, put that in one hand. Take the gauze off, put the transfer set in the other hand. Untwist, untwist, untwist. Put that on the mini cap and twist it shut. Always have that transfer set aimed down. If you have it aimed up, air can get inside. There you go. Put in Steve's belt and we're good to go. Good job, Steve. Have a nice day.